Old age is a boon of God. By understanding its dignity and considering it worthy, we can make it worthwhile, significant and enjoyable. Pandit Shri Ram Sharma Acharya Ji Book title Sarthak Evam Anand Mein Vriddhavastha Meaningful and Happy Old Age Who should read this book? If you are a young adult, a householder or a student, this book will prove valuable for you. In today's living, if there is any flaw in your daily routine, thoughts, behavior, morals or ideals, this book can help you fix it. You can get ready for your future. Along with yourself, you'd be able to serve your family and society with the help of this book. If you are about to cross the age of 50, then you must read this book. This book will ensure a significant and meaningful future life hereafter. Suppose you are a social worker or want to be one. In that case, your responsibility increases many folds and you must read this book to understand how you can bring together other thoughtful people and do something creative and significant for the welfare of older people in society. Old age a blessing or a curse. We often see people of age 60-80 with a youthful heart full of zeal and optimism and on the contrary few who are of age 30-40 but gloomy, miserable, disappointed, pessimist etc. Why is it so? Old age on one hand comes as we grow but at the same time it is a state of mind as well. Older people can be further divided into four categories. First are the people who are physically and mentally healthy like Mahatma Gandhi, Pandit Madan Mohan Malviya, Mr. Jamnalal Bajaj etc. Second are those people who are physically weak though mentally strong like Swami Ramakrishna Paramhansa who despite his cancer devoted his whole life in the worship of Goddess Kali and in the welfare of society. These two categories of people live an ideal life and make their old age worthy and significant. They are a blessing to their family, friends and community. The third category is the people who are physically fit but mentally sick. And the fourth category is those who are entirely unhealthy, physically as well as mentally. And today in the world, these two categories of people are rising. Not just old, young adults also fall into this category. These fellows will neither be happy themselves nor let others be happy. Such people are the biggest threat to families as well as society. According to Ayurveda, up to the age of 100 years, a human body stays young. From 100 years to 120 years, there comes old age and then the weakening process starts. It is only possible when the entire life is lived following the disciplines of Ayurveda. With this focus, Indian sages of your divided 100 years of human age into four stages Brahmacharya, Grihastha, Vanaprastha and Sannyas. If such a lifestyle is followed, one can truly enjoy old age while still being young at heart and useful for society and loved ones. Like life itself, old age is a boon of God by understanding its dignity and considering it worthy. We can make it useful, significant and enjoyable. Read this book to know what can be done today to make our old age a golden time of a lifetime. And since we all are connected, improving the lives of older people around us can improve our own lives too. Some excerpts from the book Old age is an essential stage in the life journey of every living being in the world. Similarly, it is normal and natural condition in humans too. Whoever is born, with the time their body will grow. It is not possible that they will always remain an innocent child or youth. With increasing age, the decline of physical abilities will start. And old age will also come. We are all familiar with this natural pace of development. People who have been brought up in a cultured environment since childhood, who have duly followed the ideal norms of celibacy and householder, and who have duly protected their lives from vices and addictions live happily even in old age. Their mental alertness and agility are maintained, 
and physical and economic problems also do not affect them much. But most of the people's lifestyle is not like this. Preparation for old age should begin from childhood so that no physical, mental or financial problems have to be faced. In the words of Pandit Shri Ram Sharma Acharya, the rest of life in old age is meant for peaceful self-contemplation and worship of God, not for any struggle. This is that valuable time when a person lays the foundation of his hereafter. But this can be possible only when he has already prepared for his entire life and entered the final stage, having worked tirelessly in youth to fulfill his duties completely have made the children capable so that they can handle their responsibilities properly. They have created stable conditions for themselves too, which would become his true ally in the future, have accumulated so much power and austerity by following self-control rules and strict fasting that it doesn't let him or them become disturbed till the last moment. Every person in the world is indebted to God, parents and society which they should be ready at all times to repay. One should consider taking care of the parents and all other old people in the family with full devotion as the most sacred duty. The blessings that are received from them as a result of this service are of a higher level than the greatest boon of the Lord and do us good in every way. Suppose the old people themselves make arrangements for their welfare system from the beginning and the youth also take proper care of following the high ideals of family values. In that case, there will be no need for society to do anything. But this doesn't happen. Mostly, neither the old people make any arrangements for themselves nor do the youth follow the high ideals. Due to this, the problem of old people persists. In such a situation, all the aware and sensible people of the society should come forward and find a solution to solve this problem. Happiness, fun and joy are just the states of mind. They are not related to the body but to the soul. And this state of mind is only possible when we make our nature to be satisfied in every situation, keeping ourselves free from greed, jealousy, malice, anger, worldly attachments, etc. Whatever happens in life, good or bad, considers God's blessing. Whatever is good is God's grace and whatever is bad is His will. With this faith and belief, we can make selfless efforts to achieve the goal of our lives. In the words of Pandit Shri Ram Sharma Acharya, the most beautiful use of old age is to channel all our energies into charitable tendencies for the welfare of the people. Widen and diversify the field of your charitable interests and tendencies and immerse into them. In this way, neither a person has the opportunity to count the age, nor drown in the memories of the past, nor to get engrossed in the worries of the future. To achieve this approach, there has been a practice in the Indian way of living to spend the last time in the form of Vanaprastha, the Hermit. Chapters of the Book Old Who Older People and Their Problems What Do Old People Do? Responsibility for Family and Youth Responsibility of Society Stay Healthy, Stay Busy, Stay Cool Make Old Age the Golden Opportunity of Life